So what is this data structures with Kotlin stuff you're talking about? Well, it's data structures with Kotlin. That's what I'm talking about, man. You see, about a month ago, I had a big tech interview, a huge interview. I didn't make the cut. Thank you for asking. But I did learn something. I learned a lot, in fact. One of the things I learned is that there's not much material out there about this stuff in Kotlin. Kotlin is my favorite language. It's my main language. I use it every day. I would very much like to do these interview questions in Kotlin, not in Java. I don't want to go back to Java. Why should I go back to Java? And imagine if I had to do them in Python. I'm a mobile developer. What am I doing writing code in Python? It's going to look like, oh, he didn't find any resources on algorithms and data structures in Kotlin, so he learned them the Python way. How pathetic. No, that's not me. I took the hard way. I took the hard route. I went and learned them in Java, understood them in Java, and transported everything back to Kotlin. That's what I did. That's what you're going to do with the help of this series. It's going to be split up into videos, of course, stacks, queues, trees, tries, linked lists, you name it. We got it. Let's hope I finish this series this time around and I don't just upload one or two videos and that's it. But I'm going to do something different this time. I'm probably going to chop it up, record them as they come, and then installments, you know, upload them one by one. So as not to just uh, upload one video and say, oh, next week, and then next week comes, I'm too busy, you know? So look forward to that. This is just the intro video for that thing, for that purpose. And uh, I'll see you then.